Hey everyone, I have a pretty awesome overview and review for you today. Today's video is on Chronicles of Crime 2400. And as promised from the thumbnail, there is a giveaway in this video. So this game was sent to me by Lucky Duck Games. So thank you to them so that I can review it for you guys. But also Lucky Ducks is supplying a copy of Chronicles of Crime 2400 for you all to win. Now this is a worldwide giveaway and it'll run from today, January 20th until January 27th. So that's Thursday to Thursday at 12 p.m. MST. That is the cutoff for it. And I will be choosing a winner and I will notify them by email on Friday, the 28th. Now the way to enter, I have the link down below. It is a Google form. You just have to fill it out just like my last giveaway. So make sure to fill that out and I will be emailing the winner, like I said. So anyways, let's go ahead and start with the overview. Video. Why can't I get that? <sighs> no. I'm gonna redo that. So anyways, before we start, my name is Chrissy and this is my channel Two Sheep One Wheat. If there is a board game out there that you would love for me to review, please let me know what that is down in the comments below. Go ahead and like this video. And then of course, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do that now. So in 2400, you are a cyborg. It's very spacey and you are trying to solve a crime. You are interrogating characters, you're collecting evidence. And then finally, when you have had enough and you have heard everybody's story, you can go ahead and solve the crime. So that is a little bit about 2400. So let's go ahead and take a look at the board and see what all comes in the box. So this is an app driven game. So there are a lot of cards, mostly evidence cards, which are these right here. So throughout the game in the app, you're going to be interrogating people. You're going to be looking around certain rooms or scenes from outside, and you're gonna be collecting evidence and you're gonna be placing those on the evidence board here. Now, if you just discovered them and you're not sure exactly where they go, they do go on this part of the board up here. If they have been discovered and you know where they are, you know where they go, they are placed down here on this blue part of the evidence board right here. Then of course, you're going to need some character cards. I have a few here just to show you. That deck is right here. So once you're looking around in those scenes on the app, you're gonna come across familiar faces. You are going to be talking to people and they're going to be talking about certain people that you will have to go looking for and place them in different locations. So that brings us to our location boards right here. Anytime a character talks about a different location or anybody tells you that there is somebody that they need to talk to in different locations. These are the location boards that they're talking about. And of course, everything in the app is noted by either a number or a letter. And everything in the app does a really good job of telling you where to go, who to talk to, and whatever evidence you have tells you what it is and where it kind of goes. So that was the location board and also the character cards right here. Now we do have a companion in this one in 2400, unlike any of the other ones that I have played by the Chronicles of Crime, the Millennial series. So this one, you do have a companion. It is a crow. Now your crow here just analyzes data. It's half a robot half animal so it has an abundance of knowledge so anytime that you need anything uh, you can ask your companion the crow and it can also tell you a little bit about people as well whenever you're interrogating them now something in this game too since it is 2400 it's based in the future we have this implant board here i do already have an implant card which is right here now you're going to be get, beginning every scenario with one implant card already throughout the game you can potentially find other ones and add it to that board as well now whenever you're using these cards it is usually to intensify your interrogation or maybe to find out a little bit more about a specific location or an item card. So that is something that is new with 2400. And then of course, like I was saying with these location boards here, um, you actually have cyberspace. So that is something that they've added into this one too. So once you go into cyberspace, you get to talk to avatars. Now you never really know who's behind that avatar. So you need to be careful when you're in cyberspace. So that is basically the cards that come in the box and all of the boards. Now, how you play the game, you're gonna be opening up the app. Now, this game does come with a rule book. However, anytime that we have ever played this one, we do have 1900 as well. 
We've never actually read the rule book for it. The only time that I usually read rule books is whenever I'm creating these videos for you. They do have a demo version so that you can go in and you can kind of get a feel for the app, get a feel for the rules, get a feel for what you have to do within that app. So within that tutorial, they made everything really simple just so that it was easy for you to learn so that you can move on to the first scenario. And in there, you're gonna be put into the real world and you're gonna be trying to solve all of these crimes. So the very first thing that happens whenever you go in there, it gives you a little bit of a blur of what's actually happening, what type of scenario it is, and then it sends you into a scene, which is a, basically a 3D scene. You're looking around on your phone and you can see everything. After that scene has passed, you can always go back if you think that you've missed something, but it's going to ask you what type of evidence that you've seen, and it works really well whenever you're playing this with other players because one person can look around the scene yelling out all the things that they find, and then that's whenever this spot right here comes out. Usually there's a lot more cards on here, but just for the purpose of the video, I have most of them still in the deck over here. So while somebody's looking in the room, yelling out what is what items that they see, other players can then go through all this and place them on the board. Then once that happens, you're gonna be scanning all of these different evidence cards to find out which actually have to do with the type of crime that was committed in the scene. Once you figured out all of the evidence that you need to, you can start talking to the people that are at the scene, giving you a lot more clues. You can ask them about the evidence that you found, and it always brings you to more locations, more characters, and now this one into the cyberspace. Now time does pass in this game. Every time you speak to a character, every time you're traveling to another location, time does go by. So now the goal of the game is also to solve the crime, but it's also to do it in a specific amount of time. So the faster that you solve the crime, the higher your group score is going to be at the end. It's going to ask you a bunch of different questions to make sure that you understood what's going on and to make sure that you have the correct answers. Once you fill all those in, it will give you your group score based on how you answered them and how much time it took you to solve the crimes. Now, one thing with this, your main character, because of those implant cards that give them a little bit more of a benefit whenever they're interrogating people, that actually uses energy. So with this game, your main character, Kalia, will have to go back home so that she can recharge. Now, once that happens, that's again taking time. So you'll have to be careful when you're using some of these implants. And the main character, Kalia here, will have to go back to her home base so that she can recharge. So that is a little bit about Chronicles of Crime 2400. This isn't the first one that I've played in the Millennium series. I've also played the 1900s and it is definitely a different theme. This is various cybernetic implants. It's very futuristic and it definitely shows how you're playing this whenever you're going into cyberspace, you're talking to these avatars and even the evidence that you're collecting in this game is very futuristic. And they did a really great job with everything in the app too, to really show that, which is really cool to look at. And all the scenes that you're looking into, just very, very, very two theme, very futuristic, very cool. This is definitely a game that I wanted to try just based on the theme alone, space and futuristic and all those types of themes are definitely up my alley and it did not disappoint this game at all. I was very happy with it, very thankful that Lucky Ducks sent this game to me so that I could try it out and kind of compare it to their 1900. I definitely love what they've added to this game uh, with the implants, uh, with another board, the implant board, that you're able to use these different benefits and you get to interrogate. It's a little bit harder, you know, you're pushing a little bit harder, your interrogation, it's almost like a, a step up from 1900. You definitely know more about what you're doing and you get the results that you're looking for. And then they added the Raven card in here so that you have a companion so that because it's so futuristic, you kind of need a one up on people and things like reading minds or forcing people to tell you things and things like that with all of these implants. Just really cool. 
I really like these games and you kind of get lost in the app when you're searching around the scenes. The app is really easy to use too. You can maneuver your way around in there. Uh, sometimes you're not quite sure what to do next. You've already talked to everybody. You've already asked them about all of the evidence. You can still ask your raven and then maybe they'll have something else other to say. Uh, you could always go back home and see like there's always something to do and there's always something that's going to tell you what to do next which is really nice and you know I just really enjoy this game we have played it a few times I've loved every single time that we have played it I'm looking forward to finishing it I think out of any of the Millennium series this is probably the one that I am going to finish just because the theme is a little bit more up my alley so I'm really looking forward to doing that one uh, and like I was saying you kind of get lost in it time starts passing by you don't even realize how much time that you've actually played this game and to me that just tells you how good of a game that it actually is so if you really enjoy even the theme but if you enjoy playing a game with an app that you have to use your phone then this is probably one that you're going to want to check out and of course the theme if you like the theme then I think I think it's a double whammy for you so anyways this was my overview and review for Chronicles of Crime 2400 I hope you enjoyed it and I will catch you next time